but 100 miles, 200 miles big. Love and he cut all those trees down. Is that going to affect the ecosystem? Yeah. Because yeah. what do trees help to produce? Oxygen. Oxygen, right? Now, if you cut all the trees down in the world, what will happen? We animals die. die. Forget about animals dying. What's going to happen to us? We die. We have a situation. Exactly. And we don't have, and we have lots of carbon dioxide. Now, what happens now? If you go to the store, right? Let's say, for example, you're thirsty. What can you go to the store and buy? Water. Water. Right? Actually, they, even they, if trees die, don't other plants also produce oxygen? Yeah, but the main source that we get it from is trees. But let's say, for example, we cut all the trees down, and normally you go to the store and you buy water, right? It's like a dollar, two dollars. <laughs> Imagine in the future you have to go and buy air. Air? Yeah, like you go buy air. Like the same way you buy water, you say, well, I need air. Okay, because you're running low. You have a shortage. Maybe so, the air's fine here. Yeah, yeah okay, so that's the idea. Maybe in maybe 20 years from now, because of all the pollution to the ecosystems, we might have to go and buy air. Yeah. You know who's going to have the monopoly on that, right? Who's going to make air? Probably Google. Google will sell air, you know, for a good price, okay? For what you need. So if they catch air. Well, they'll manufacture it. You ever, oh, tell me this is not the craziest thing. Who has ever, who drinks Dasani water? The Dasani. Dasani. You ever seen Dasani water? Yeah, bubbles in it. Yeah, yeah, the one I've got. I bubbles. tasted it. My brother let me taste his. Now what, what? It was really bad. What's really it weird about it, it is water. When you open the cap, is it supposed to make a noise like you open soda? No. no. Like. No. Well, this water makes that noise. Yeah. So what? Are, what, are they, what are they? What are they putting inside of it? Yeah. Air. No. Air. Uh, air. Not air. What kind of oxygen. air? Oxygen. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, right? So why are they putting carbon dioxide into water? Uh, taste. Maybe it affects the taste. Maybe it also does what's in the water? Cooler? I don't know that it keeps it cooler, but it kind of preserves it. It makes it fresh, right? So when you drink it. The idea is with ecosystems, okay? Okay? You're looking at a situation where everything is dependent on them. Humans depend on them. Okay, do we have like an ecosystem police force? No. Uh, rangers, uh, ranger, ranger forest somewhere around. Okay, they got rangers and stuff like that. Uh, but like for example, animals depend on them. And what else depends on them? Uh, Humans, animals, and? Plants. Plants, okay, plants. Cool. Now here's the idea. Yes. Who makes sure, who makes sure, who looks out for these ecosystems to make sure that they're okay? Trees. No. No, trees can't police it. Not. All right. Planters. You got different organizations, right? You said what? For the for the for the forest, right? For the parks. Who protects them? You got forest rangers, right? Yeah. So if a forest uh -huh. ranger comes and he sees you dumping toxic waste into a lake, what's, what's, he, what's he gonna do? Oh well, yeah, what's you. toxic waste do what it gets on your body. Oh man, it's no good. You ever see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No. Yeah. Nobody you know knows Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I know. What's the, what's the story behind that? They're little mutant turtles and fight. <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, what happened? They were like little turtles, right? And they were found in the sewer, and then somebody dumped some toxic waste in the sewer. They yeah. walked around in it, and then what happened to their body? They they, go long they, they, they mutated and became the you know the teenage mutant ninja turtles. So now, you can't how many teenagers? I'm not suggesting that you go and dive into toxic waste and think you're gonna become a teenage mutant ninja turtle. But the toxic waste, the reason it causes those changes, those chemical awesome. reactions, is because what's in there? It's radio what? Radioactive. 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 So think about it. If it's radioactive. Oh, I know how. Can it affect your Can it affect your chemistry? Yeah. Yeah. So if it's radioactive and you introduce it to your skin, if I introduce it to her skin, is it going to cause a reaction? Yeah. It's probably going to be a bad reaction. Like we're going to get some brown skin. Like pretty serious. All right. So what we're looking at is, what if I take the same radioactive material? Ooh, if I take if I take the same radioactive material and I introduce it to animals, is it going to have a bad reaction? No. Yeah. 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 What if I introduce the plants? Bad, bad reaction? You'll have yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But what's the problem? Well, as human beings, right? Somebody said earlier that our population is like seven billion plus, right? Yeah. So what's the thing that we're always going to be producing? Babies. 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 Babies.
We're going to dig a big hole into the earth, and we're going to dump all this stuff in there, and then cover it up, and then hope that it doesn't affect the earth, right? If I were to dig a hole in your bed, <laughs> okay, and then I dump all this garbage in your back, and I seal it up, is that what's going to affect you the next day? Yeah. It's going to make Whoa. you feel like what? Ooh. Wait, but then what if like garbage. garbage is like good garbage and then it could like come like, what do you call it, um, like... Compost? Compost, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so now look, is there such thing as good garbage? Yes. yes. Compost is good garbage because we use that as what fertilizer for plants and stuff like that. Feet? Now that's fine. Is there a poop on compost though? Uh, say it. Poop? Yeah, compost. poop is definitely compost. <laughs> All right. As, as a matter of fact, when I was your age years ago, right, my uh, my grandmother used to have like a place in the backyard where she planted tomatoes, and you know, different things. Well, I didn't poop on it, but the idea was, oh I, she used to bring out this bag of compost, but she should also have manure. Manure is also manure is another word for poop. And the idea is, they say, "Ask a grandmother, like, what is that nasty, nasty smell?" And she'd say, that's the stuff we use to put in the soil to help the plants to grow. Oh. Now, knowing that, okay, think about it like this. You know that they use fertilizer that comes from poop to help plants grow. Are you still going to eat the tomato when it comes off the vine? No. Why not? It's it's not it's so not you say it's it? poop inside. So you, know, so you think maybe that the poop has transferred itself into the tomato? Yes. But whatever's in the tomato tastes pretty good, though. Yeah, ants. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, what do you think about it? So, good, a good, a good example that you brought up is yes, there are some, there is some good garbage, there is some good bacteria, and we need to. What about pee? Pee is not necessarily a good thing. Oh, uh, I need some for some water. The yard. Um, um, you know what she's got to say. Net, um, the yard next to our yard. Okay. When I was little, I used to smell.